Hello you beautiful people, and today we are looking at Angel Di Maria, 87 rated. I picked him up for 77k, 9 goals, 3 assists in 14 games. You can see his stats here, standout ones being acceleration, agility and sprint speed all being very high, making him a very, very nimble player. Very agile and hard to stop. Crossing 90, ball control 87, dribbling 87, finishing little bit low. Shot power 87, short pass 83, long pass 83. He is a creator. And despite his finishing being low, he's a finisher. Five star skills, five foot 11, two star weak foot, could be a problem. Got the dribbler, crosser and acrobat speciality and flair and long passing trait. First things first with Di Maria is he is lightning quick. He, combination of acceleration, agility, balance and sprint speed make him so fast on the ball and off the ball. Defenders can't catch him. Even the fastest centre backs do not catch him. He is able to burst down the wing for you to get in behind. If you want to play counter attack, he will turn defence into attack instantly. So much better this year than he was last year because of these five star skills. He can beat defenders with ease. Now, I didn't like him last year because he only had four star skills and the two star weak foot was a big factor. Neither of those are factors anymore. He's got five star skills now. He's got a, still a two star weak foot. Doesn't seem to affect him as badly. Outside the box, he will score you goals. Inside the box, he will score you goals. I don't know why this, where this 75 finishing stat came from. I think EA pulled it out of their ass because his finishing is not 75. He will score you chance after chance after chance that I don't think a lot of strikers will score. With his left foot, he is very clinical for a player with 79 shot on his card. I think it has something to do with his really high curve stat because if you finesse it, he always bends it into the corner like an absolute peach. Every time it goes flying into the corner. He doesn't need time to set himself. You can do it one time easy. I was worried about his two star weak foot, but he really seems to avoid it despite not having that trait and puts everything on his left. So it doesn't really become a problem. He just sprints and sprints and sprints, and he is so quick. You can see there, no defenders catching him. Powers it into the far corner. Where's that 75 finishing? I don't know. It's not there. It can't be. And he's got brilliant passing. His passing is pinpoint. He could find my dad. I haven't seen my dad since I was seven. He could find my dad with a through ball. That's how good his passing is. He is fantastic. The one criticism I have of him, he's a little bit weak. He doesn't have much strength and his aggression isn't super high. But he makes up for that, as I've said many a times, with abundance of pace. And look at that, 75 finishing? What are you talking about 75 finishing? Absolute nonsense. He buries it and there with his two star weak foot on the right foot, still buries it. I don't think weak foots are as much of a factor this year as they were last year. Di Maria, overall, 10 out of 10. Fantastic, one of my favorite players on the game. I would definitely recommend buying him for whatever his price is now, probably 70K on Xbox, more on PlayStation. I don't know the PlayStation market, but definitely worth it. Anyway guys, that's it for this review. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you later.